This is your boy Nas Game here, guys. In today's video, uh, we will be talking about the team of the season market crash. I'll be showing y'all some good uh, sniping and mass bidding filters. Also, some good um, investments and trading methods that you can be doing to make coins um, during the team of the season market crash. We have about seven weeks of the team of the season. Um, the market's going to be crashing all and rising all throughout the team of the season, guys. Um, and we're going to go over some investments and some ways you can make coins, guys. Um, if you are new to the channel guys, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button underneath the video If you want to learn how to trade if you want to learn the best trading methods any of that kind of stuff If you want to learn how to play FIFA even just better hit that big red subscribe button underneath the video guys Also guys check out my twitch channel twitch.tv slash sales gaming the link is in the description hit follow me on twitch um, And I also stream on YouTube now so I'm streaming on twitch and YouTube guys So come through to the uh, the twitch stream if you have any questions you want me to answer immediately And I'll get to them as soon as possible guys also, um, check me out on Twitter at Nails Gaming. Um, the link will be in the description as well, guys. Um, you can DM me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, and get updates. And um, ask me any questions on Twitter as well. And guys, also check out my Fortnite channel, DD Nails. That channel link will be in the description. And check out my vlog and prank channel. That link will be in the description. Deontay Nails is the name of that channel, guys. But without further ado, let's get into the video for today, guys. Can we get 30 likes? Make sure you stay and watch to the end of the video so you don't miss anything, guys. Um, and I just want to say this guys. I know a lot of you've been hitting some packs for team of the season If you do pack any team of the season guys I recommend you sell immediately because they're just gonna keep going down and down and down and down So if you pack a team of the season guys make sure you sell it immediately guys um, And we do have the EFL tots and we do have the most consistent tots They're featuring the EFL tots for some reason. I mean the most consistent tots with like Courtois, Cialini, Old Block um, Sergio Busquets and all them boys that 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 team of the season is better than this one, so I don't know why they're featuring this one um, instead of that one. But we're going to get into the video. Let's get into some, let's just talk about the market crash, what's going on right now. So basically, guys, you're seeing a lot of people hit packs. You're seeing a lot of packs being hit, um, especially um, within the first 24 hours of, of, the, of the team of the season. You're seeing a lot of packs being hit. Um, EA is going to be doing lightning rounds. They're going to be doing a bunch of different things to push out packs and, and to sell packs. Um, so what that's going to do is that's going to create more cars on the market and what that's going to do guys is it's going to drive the price of cars down. So you're going to see slowly over time the market's going to go down and down and down. A lot of people are asking me when should they buy their team, when they sh should they buy the team. I would say buy your team um, during the BPO La Liga tots guys. Whenever that team of season comes out here in a few weeks, I would that would, that would be when I advise you to buy your team. Because that's when the market will be at the lowest because that's when the most people will be hitting packs. Um, so that is when that is my suggestion on when you should buy your team guys and as for investing tips guys First of all if you don't have a lot of coins guys and you want to do some do some investing and do some sniping and, and make some coins guys The first thing I'm gonna throw uh, the first direction I'm gonna point you to is the marquee matchups guys You should be doing the marquee matchups every week simple enough. You should be doing them um, Especially if you have the if you have players in your club I would recommend you do these marquee matchups if you don't have a lot of players in your club and it's going to be a struggle and you're going to have to buy every player, then maybe not do the marquee matchups. Go play squad battles. Play squad battles every week, guys, to give you free packs, free coins. Play squad battles during team of the season, guys. That is a really, really um, great tool to use. Also, guys, sniping, mass bidding filters. A lot of people like to snipe and mass bid on cards. These um, these players right here, like especially like the Philadelphia Union and DC United cards, are going for like 7,000 coins right now. So snipe and mass bid those. Also, the AZ um, their, their cards are going for a little bit. IX cards are going for a little bit. Um, Best Tech, Galatasaray, and even Shaka Maglagbach. Their cards are going for a little bit. Flip these cards. Try to make for uh, Maglagbach and, and Shaka and, and Galatasaray and Best Tech. Is try to make three to three to seven hundred coins a card. Maybe for DC Union or fill it up the Union DC United and AZ IX. Try to make a thousand seven hundred to a thousand coins a card. Um, if you can just consistently mass bid and snipe and pick up those cards, you will be in good shape, guys. Also, guys, we're going to be getting a Team of the Week SBC. I want to preach that to everyone. We're getting a Team of the Week SBC within the next two to three weeks. We're going to get one. Uh, we'll probably get one during the BPL Tots and during La Liga Tots. Um, I think next week will probably most likely be BPL Tots. Um, if I'm remembering right last year, that's how they did it. I'm not sure. It might be in a few weeks, but we will probably... We will for sure get a team of the week SBC. I feel um, during BPL tots and during um, La Liga tots, 
Um, last year we got one during the Team of the Week 34. We're on Team of the Week 32, so it could be in the next two weeks. So for that reason, start sniping and picking up 83s and 84s. Like, guys, these 83s are, are, are really, really low right now. 83s, like Dose, I think he, Dose early was like 1,500 coins. Um, it looks like he's still there. Like, he's, he's going down and down and down. So, guys, look to pick up these 83s for super, super cheap, guys. Pick them up on the bid, on the snipe. Like, for example, do this. If you, if you, if you try to pick these cards up for at least, like, if you try to snipe them for, like, 12 or 1,300 coins and just keep repetitively doing that, you will pick up these cards, guys. Like, Dose. Um, he's 1,600 coins, 1,500 coins. Try sniping for 1,200 or 1,000. You can pick up these cards on the snipe if you continue to sniper for 1,000. Um, also, you can bid on them. Win them on the bid. Like, they're really, really low. Like, I'm telling you guys, invest in 83s and 84s. I cannot preach that to y'all enough. Invest in 83s and 84s. If you have 50 or 100K somewhere in there, invest in 83s and 84s. You will make coins. Because when those Team of the Week SBCs drop, people will want to do those. Um, so 83s. Um, try to pick them up for 1200 or less guys 1300 or less 84s like and I'll give I'll show you all a list of 83s that you can you can pick up um, 84s um, I would try to snipe and pick up pick those up on the bid as well like farming uh, for example he's a really really good one really good 84 to pick up um, let's see what is he going for? he was I mean look at this 3,000 coins basically he's 3,300 coins right now guys 3,100 3,000 I picked up some for uh, I think it was was it 2800 like you can pick up these cards for super super cheap Just be patient snipe these cards because because people are hitting packs and they're just putting cards right back on the market They're just trying to get rid of cards. They're not trying to keep cards They're trying to just take whatever they can get so farming and 84s guys. I would say try to pick them up for 3200 or less 2800 25 2500 to, to really th 2500 to, tw to 3200 is a really good price for um, 80, 84s. I mean, the less you can pick them up for, the more profit you'll be able to make. And especially if you want to do those Team of the Week SBCs here in a few weeks, I would definitely go ahead and pick up 83s and 84s right now, guys. And let me show y'all a quick list of 83s and 84s to pick up because I do know some of y'all will want to pick some up. And you, you'll be like, which ones should I pick up? Which ones? Like, what names? So I will show y'all a quick list. And here is a list of the 83s, guys. We have. Um, here are the best ones to pick up: Dost, of course, and Zanzi, Valero, Kagawa, Casillas, Ruli, um, Garai, Snyderland, Lopez, uh, Reina, and Somar. Those are the best ones to pick up. Uh, maybe even check maybe how it is, but he's a little bit on the more expensive side. Um, and I think 84s. Let's see, do we have, do we still have our 84s team? I know it's Falcao. Um, the, yeah, we still do have it. 84s. Try to pick up. Um, Falcao, Bruno, Farman, Adariz, Asenjo, um, Burkai, Horn, and D Bernardo Silva. Those are 84s I would tell you all to pick up. And lastly, guys, uh, for the big spenders out there, if you have a bunch of coins, guys, um, I'd say 250 plus, I would invest in Informs. And that's what I've been doing, guys. Um, informs from the current team of the week, guys. Remember, keep that in mind. Um, invest in these as soon as possible, guys. Usually we wait. Usually what we do is we wait until Sunday, Monday. After squad battle rewards come out, they invest in informs. But because of team of season and people hitting packs and stuff right now, right now is the best time to invest in informs. Invest, pick these informs up, um, and you will be able to make profit, guys. Simple and easy enough. You can either wait until the we get a team of the week SBC to sell these informs, or you can sell them um, in the next week and, and make some profit off of these cards, guys. Um, I would say the best ones to invest in are Araloa, uh, Mandy, um, I would say Moreno, and Uth. Those are the best ones to invest in. Maybe even, maybe even uh, Lobin uh, or Lombin. Lombin is, is not a bad one to pick up. And then also maybe even a couple of that Yuvins, guys, because he's really, really cheap right now. He's like 40-some thousand coins, which is really, really cheap for an 87-rated inform. Uh, but I'll show you all what I picked up, guys, so far. I'll show you all my investments. Um, I did pack a team of the season, by the way, guys. That's another reason why you should be doing the marquee matchups. You get packs. You have a good chance to pack a team of the season. I packed a team of the season, uh, Akin Fenwa, out of a marquee matchup pack, which was just fantastic. Um, but here, like last week or a few weeks ago, I invested in some informs. Paulista, I invested in him for like, I think it was 16, 15,000 coins, sold him for 21. Welbeck, I bought for 17, 18,000 coins, sold him for 25. Adder, or Adler, I bought for, I think, 16000 sold him for 25000 sold him for 25000 
at La Stundo, I'm, I bought for 20,000 coins, sold them for 30. So, I mean, th that just shows you that it, buying informs is, is a good method. I have a couple Mandy's. I was picking them up on the snipe for like 11.5, 10.5, um, Arloa, 12.75, uh, some more Mandy's for 12,000, um, Moreno for 11, 11.25, which is a steal, 14. Um, just, I'm picking up informs. I got informs. I'm selling them, guys. Like, this is the best method to make coins, in my opinion, on the game, guys, for sure. Inform, inform investing. But also, guys, I do want to let y'all know is you can um, snipe and, and mass bid on informs and then turn around and, and sell them and turn to quick profit, guys. Keep that in mind. Because if you think about it, guys, I picked up this RLO or this Moreno for 11.5 and he's going for 15,000 coins right now. 14, 15,000. So, I mean, you can pick, you can snipe these cards for like 11, 12,000 and turn around and sell them for 14, 14, 5. And you can make 1,000, 2,000 coins profit per card right now. You can do that, or you can hold them for a little bit of time and go for the five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand coins or more profit on these cards. It's up to y'all. Whatever y'all want to do, there's no wrong choice. To, there's no wrong choice. It's however much coins you want to make, however long you want to hold the cards. As long as the card you hold the cards or within reason, the more the more profit you'll make, guys. But I hope this video kind of helped y'all, guys. Um, I'll be talking about um, all the cards that are dropping, like golds. Um, informs, icons, and uh, team of the seasons, and all that stuff. I'll be talking about that, about all those cards, uh, probably in, in tomorrow's video, guys. Thank y'all for watching. Like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, let me know in the comment section how many coins do y'all have to invest. Um, and also, guys, let me know if y'all packed any team of the seasons. It's been your boy Nails Gaming. I'm out. Peace.